Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick plan with me, with you, in the Live Rich Planner for the following week here. Uh, let me just go and show you my August calendar that I've already decorated because Tuesday is August 1st. So those are my stickers. I got these from uh, Life and Envelopes probably. I really like my stickers. Um, but I, get, I have a lot of stickers from a lot of different people. I, I really share the wealth on Etsy. Um, but over here in this column is what I do. I usually put a quote up. This is made with a mini Canon uh, printer. Uh, just take it on your phone and then you just print it to the um, mini Canon. It comes out this size. I like to put a quote on a monthly basis in my calendar to just remind me of where my thoughts are that month. Um... If you've heard some of my other videos, you know that I'm taking a couple months off of my schoolwork. I've been doing um, at least one to two classes every six weeks in a semester for the last couple of years. And I just finished up with two classes. And even though I got A's, I'm just a little burnt out from it. So I want to take a semester off and go back um, either in September or October. And so for the month of August, my focus is really going to be on me and reading i want to read for pleasure and that's really important for me and i want to read you know get into a walking regimen in the morning so usually i i'm an early birder i get up at five and i usually just spend the whole time from five to about quarter seven in the office doing schoolwork. so now i think i'm going to go get up at five and go for a walk by 5 15 come back by six and then still have a little bit of time to do any planning and budgeting office stuff so for me, I have read for pleasure and uh, meet up with a friend. Um, so that is what's going on in August. We are heading away for a visit to my mother-in-law. So I have that in here as well. Now in the next few pages, I've already kind of put things in. So in here, the personal finance page, I put in my any side hustle money that I get in. So you all know that I just created an Etsy shop. I just uploaded another digital PDF for a monthly savings on there this morning. So go check it out. Uh, my financial goals for the month is to work on debt and pay more of my debt down. Um, anticipated money, I put where here. Uh, so my June, uh, actually, I should probably go paid this. So it's not going to happen. Uh, my July, I'm expecting $280 as side hustle and then another $67 from another town that I do minutes. Savings challenges, I want to refund or return all IOUs. I want to continue with the 52-week challenge and I want to continue with the monthly challenge. Those are my savings challenges for the month. If I just concentrate on these three, I should be doing okay. And then areas to cut spending, no Etsy, period. You can do it because I buy a lot of stickers. So... And then over here, I'll just put my monthly expenses just on this account. This is not my monthly expenses for the whole, um, you know, for the whole uh, family. And personally, I just do this for my side hustle money. And I'll put actually a stick up here. This is side hustle above. Okay. Then over here, in this section, I use this for meal planning. So I write down what we have. For dinners on here and I, then on here, I do a little bit of, you know, when costly, like what, what costs what when you go out to dinner. Just to keep like a running tab of how much dining out we do. Let me just show you July real quick. Since it's right here. <laughs> uh, so, you know, this, this, by putting down dinners, I can go back and say, oh, we really like that. Let's make that again. Or, you know, just gives us ideas for the following month. So we did go out to dinner last night. Uh, how much was that? It was 80. And that was a new restaurant that we've never been to for dinner in New Bedford. So that was good. It was $80. And I'll probably put a smiley face because we really did enjoy it. And then now today, I don't, I don't know what's for dinner today. Too early to, for me to decide. But that's what I do in this section. Grace's birthday is Thursday. So I think we'll have cake. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Pizza probably because we're, we have a surf lesson. Um, and then again, my savings goal progress. 
My word of the month is max, which is going to be $38. My monthly IOU is 225 plus 80. I need to catch up on 52. And my other fourth goal is to pay off the Big Lots credit card. So we're right into the personal planning page here. Um, I will write down ideas for breakfasts, lunches, and dinners here. A small um, shopping list. As I think about it, let's write it down right now. I know we need blueberries. I always buy blueberries for my shakes. And I usually always have a shake in the morning that I make myself. So I just do that automatically. Lunches will be anywhere from salads to I've been making Shisharia boards for like individual, you know, um, so I need to get, actually get some stuff for that. Maybe we'll go out later on, or maybe tomorrow. Uh, and then dinner, I'm going to do a, uh, I am definitely going to do a review of our pantry and our freezer and fridge and put that down here so we know kind of what's in there. And then on this page here, I don't use it for housework or tasks. I actually put down like just what's going on, you know, this week. <clears throat> so I covered that up because I don't use it for how to that. I use it like this week, things to do, etc. So classes end tomorrow, thank goodness. Honestly, thank goodness. So uh, that means that um, I won't have too much of this to do. Uh, I think I have one meeting this week, so I'll put in that. I think that might be, I think it's Wednesday. Um, these stickers were made by Life and Envelopes. Just a little surfer girl. I only have a couple left. So I figured I'd finish it up because Grace does have do 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 do. Check out these. So yeah, I already started a little bit of the because it's Grace's birthday. Oh I put that on 31, 1, 2, 3. I believe her birthday is on Thursday, so that stinks. So I'm gonna have to take that off. And then her party is Saturday, so I just kind of decorated that like that. So, um, and these are these stickers came from the same company, Martinez Sticker Company. I have a lot of stickers, as I said. So here we go. I kind of just pulled these out, like the cake and Grace's face. She's going to be twelve. She's been through more in her twelve years of life than I think some people do in their lifetime. But you know something, she's strong. She's doing really well, like walking around a little bit. She's really about this close to walking on her own. Um, you know, the only thing that always gets me down about her growth is really, you know, her belly issues and it's so frustrating. This morning, actually, she woke up at five, which like really never happens, but she woke up at five and um, had some belly problems. So. Just kind of hope she has a bowel movement today and it's not by, you know, it's not like we have to give her another animal. We did really actually have to give her one last night and I, I know you don't come here to listen to me talk about Gracie's animal problems, but you know, it's just really frustrating and um, it's frustrating because she has been dealing with this for a very long time. Um, you know, like I said, she is 12 and you know, just... It's frustrating to have to go through that like constantly. I, I think that honestly, if that it, it it actually has come down to a quality of life. I think that um, you know it's it's it interrupts life. And why you know it shouldn't it shouldn't it shouldn't have to be that way, right? I mean, I'm not speaking just for myself. It interrupts my life, but it interrupts her life. And, you know, that's the one thing I worry about. I worry about taking her here or there because, you know, do I have enough diapers? Is she going to go, is she going to have a, you know, this, this, she goes from extremes, one extreme to the other. So, it, you know, it's, it definitely is coming down to a quality of life. And uh, before you say it, we do, we have taken her to a lot of doctors in where, you know, Boston area and, you know. 
they've gone for tests and they've done this or they've done that and it just I don't know it just feels like nothing's getting done about it it's just she's the, that's the only kind of medicine she's on um you know is to help her belly and um a couple of little small things I mean she you know and she eat she is eating a lot more than she ever has so you know we're very happy about that um so this is her every year on her birthday she does do surf lesson and no different she's gonna do it again today uh this week at 4 4 15 so that's kind of cool we'll be back earlier and maybe be able to get pizza and cake and do the whole cake thing with her on her actual birthday which you know i really enjoy doing she knows it's her birthday and she's very excited about it she's having a party and she yeah it'll be a fun time um so yeah that's my story i'm gonna finish this up and then i am going to i think you know it's early no one's up but i think i'm gonna go and get started with the whole freezer and you know cleaning and i have one big test to do and i that's the last thing i have to do today um and then i have like one discussion post to finish up but i don't have a lot to do um as far as homework i actually feel like a little i'm glad i woke up early i'm glad it got done because you know i just feel like it's just been so overwhelming i gotta move those stickers i'm bumming that i put it on the wrong day i don't know why i was thinking her birthday was wednesday because i didn't realize that july had 31 days that's the problem that's okay it's okay i can get it corrected i'm sure august 3rd today i'll never forget grace was born 27 weeks and three days and actually it was she was born on a thursday so just brings back a lot of feelings and emotion but you know something in the long run i'm just happy that she's doing well and as well as she is doing because i know a lot of kids you know who are born early don't and you know and she, you know what she's got a great little personality she's very social she's just like her mom and um that makes me happy that she's like that and she's you know good times well thanks for watching i know it was really short i just didn't want a, like a long long video i wanted you to see what i did for her birthday and the whole surf thing and the beach thing but um i'm glad you're here i'm happy to see some new um people coming and subscribing appreciate it and if you have channels please post them down below because i spend a lot of time in my office in the morning while people are still sleeping in this house and i that's when i get all my videos done so and please go check me out on etsy if you haven't already i appreciate you being here have a good weekend bye